Okay. I've been away for a while now. <laughs> but I am back and I am ready. No, real quick though, because it's late and I'm tired. I'm tired now. Um, I feel like God gave me a word. I know that it doesn't just apply to me. Because the way God gave it to me, it was so deep. So I'm like, this is not just for me. This is for somebody as well. Um, so I'm going to go on ahead before I go to bed and give you this word. This rainbow word. No, I'm quick playing. <laughs> so I titled it. I guess you can call it a mini sermon. Um, definitely wrote every word down because I don't play about God's messages. I don't just talk from the side of my neck or speak anything that comes off of my tongue because sometimes people do that and like you know your words just come back to bite them and I don't want that to be me for as best as possible I'm not perfect but shoot I'm doing my best to you know be close to it especially when you know you're saying thus says the Lord you want to make sure that um, when you're held accountable for something it's not you're blameless in the process so real quick um i named it rotten hands and deadly words okay so the scripture i'm going to be reading from is first chronicles 16 22 and it says touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm so god told me to read it twice and then really get into the word um so it's touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm touch not my anointed ones means do not put your hand in the way nor force your will on the one i chose to do my biddings okay and do my prophets no harm means do not bring trouble or do not harm the body of the one who housed my spirit uh-huh okay so it's a give and take encounter is basically what god is saying this is all about all right and so um the side note that I wrote down says, you take the chance of causing harm to God's people. And as a result, you give God the opportunity to return your evil. And that's according to the wickedness that's inside of your heart. So if you went all out to do the wrong thing, um, definitely expect hell on your head when it's time for um the reaping because everything has a price on it when it comes to um you dishing out something or you sowing a seed uh, of any kind whether it's good or bad it depends on what scale or what side that you are on and so um i said uh reaping the things that you have sown so you take the chance of causing harm to god's people you give god the opportunity to return your evil reaping the things that you've sown mm -hmm. so whatever you felt comfortable with giving you know and this may not be for a, just a bad thing it could be um if you sow good then you're definitely going to be um, getting your good back to you in due season, in, in harvest time. But uh, particularly, this is for the wicked or those who have malicious intents in their heart, especially towards God's people. Um, you're diminishing character or you are uh, just getting in the way of elevation, their growth. You know what I mean? Like you're more harmed than you are helped. And some people might be oblivious to the fact of that, but then majority of the time that person is knowing exactly what they're doing you know and exactly what you're doing and um also another scripture i want to refer to uh, to let the one you know to warn the one the warning you that you are doing this even evil things rotten hands deadly works that you know the bible it says um he said uh he said, you know, be still, do not move. Because the Lord is watching your enemy. Uh-huh. And the Lord sees that his day is coming and he laughs. The Lord laughs because he's seeing that your enemy's day is coming. So don't even move. Don't be bothered by it. Just continue to try to focus on what God is telling you to do. Um, continue to uh, be the best you, you can be. Um, you know, from my own experience, it's best to get better and not bitter you know you get bitter 
Um, it's easier said than done, but I have done this. Uh, you go through some things and you want to turn hard. You want your heart to be stone. But, um, you know, you miss out on blessings as well. You miss out on God's voice. You miss out on opportunity. You just miss out. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Food for thought. Have a good night. Be blessed, folks.